All right, guys, so check this out. Here we got a shovel head. Um, I don't know, years look to be about the same. So, shovel head front master cylinder rebuild. Here's the kit that we're going to use. I just got this from JP Cycles. You can get them from all over the place. Um, I was going to use, let me see, can I, this one, but it had like, uh, you know, anytime your brake fluid turns into meth, that's bad. So I went out to the parts shed and I picked this one out. It looks like it's in better condition, so let's take it apart and we'll figure it out. So the first thing we want to do, get the stand to shop, stop shaking. Mm, probably won't. Is we're going to take screws out we want to look in the reservoir make sure she's clean that gaskets yeah I mean it's got some corrosion but you know it's smooth it's not like this okay all right so next thing we need to do you need to get the handle off. And the way you do that is you take a screwdriver and you see right here, you get a little C-clip, Jesus clip, whatever you want to call it. And then we're just going to kind of pop it off. There's the correct tools for these, but it comes off easy enough. And then this one is greased. If you have one, so I could push, we give it a screwdriver push and pull it out. This is the way it'll be if you're doing this on a running bike. If you do it on one that's sat, it might look something like this. And in that case, I just use a punch and a hammer on the bottom side. You can see the shiny part and power that son of a bitch right out. Okay, so now we'll lift the handle out of the way. This actuates your push rod. It goes right in here. Okay, so we'll set that out of the way. Now, we'll flip this over. And your master cylinder and everything is in here. So we'll pull this push rod out. And we'll clean that up. No biggie. Now, hmm, how can I have you guys see this better? Let's see. Maybe... There's a piece in here, and it's just a piece of fuzz. We'll pull that out. See, that's all that is. I just stuck a pick in there. And then, kind of see, of course, I don't have my flashlight on me. Let me grab a light. Hang on. Well, my million lumen spotlight shine us up in here. Yeah, okay. Now you can see in there there's a, another clip. Okay. So what we're going to do is you take your pliers. Stick it in there. I'm trying to do this through the phone screen so it ain't too easy, but they walk right out. It's not bad. Now, go to your other side, and you might have an adapter like this or some shit. You know, you'd have to take this adapter off. And then, just take a little punch again. Um, give her a pop. Might need to use a hammer. And you have your piston or plunger or whatever you want to call it out. And give that a pull. There's your little top hat and your spring. And we set all that off to the side. And we check out the bore. See, this one's got some poo in it. So give me just a second.
if uh, you own firearms, oh, and you got some bore cleaning brushes, you know, this is a good spot for them. They work real good down in there. But maybe you don't live in America, or maybe you live in California. So we're going to just shove a rag down in there, give her some nice twists. Got a lot less poo in there. Okay. Yep, hang on, almost done. Should have grabbed my chemicals beforehand. Oh. I'm just gonna spray the inside of that with some brake clean. Um, and I'm gonna do that off camera here. Stick a rag back down in there. So I just stuck the screwdriver in that bore. If you do that, you want to make sure you don't score the sides up. Like at all. Okay, there we go. Now she's clean. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, so about as easy as it gets we will open a rebuild kit pour the contents out all willy-nilly okay this o-ring goes on here way you can do this when you take your old ones out if you want to is you can just kind of set stuff the way that it went right so we know it went that like that so that's what we need to make it look like Looks like we're going to reuse this piece. Just this little metal top hat. Let me clean that off. It'd probably work without it, but I kind of like being able to line that spring up. That's the old spring. Man, that's so easy, isn't it? Okay. So, let's take our cylinder, we're going to drop our spring in. Let me grab some brake oil. So everything else that I'm going to run needs to be not silicone based. So I'm just going to use some dot four fluid, which works for dot three and dot four. And you want to just take your little fingertips worth here, coat your uh, O-ring, set that off to the side. You want to coat the sides of this. And be careful with brake cleaner if you're working around shit with paint or if you got open cuts on your hands. This stuff is pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. Oop. Okay. So spring. Top hat on the spring.
Man, I, that went in all sideways. Try it again. There she went. Okay, so now this goes in. This is the part that your plunger on your handle sits in. So we give that a push and it should kind of stay. And now we give a real good push. Sometimes you got to hold those in, sometimes they'll stay. This one we're going to have to hold in with the screwdriver. And I'm going to wrap the C clip around the screwdriver and sort of drop it in place. Get it sitting there. So I'm able to hold that piston down, right? And I have my pliers to grab that C-clip. Maybe. I'm sorry I keep hitting the stand, guys. that a squeeze uh -oh, we went too far with it that's all right we can pull it back out if you look she ain't in there even so i'm going to take the screwdriver and we'll push this down in until we get it to pop in There she popped. Everything popped into place. Now we're going to take our piece of foam. I guess it's not foam. It's like wool. I don't know. And we're going to just push it in there. I mean, for the most part, that's our master cylinder rebuild. But let's clean this stuff up and we'll put everything back together. Get that spring clean. Clean this up just a bit. Oh yeah, that's coming real clean. I'll show you in a minute. Hang on. See, look at that. She cleaned up real smooth. Now another thing is I'm going to... take just a little bit of anises and turn myself into the tin man there we go just kind of keep some of that corrosion off right put that on spread it around with the spring that's going to help out a lot okay so this just goes down in the hole Oop, might not go that way We'll go that way though all right it's pretty simple and then we will take our handle let me cap this brake fluid before i knock it over stuff's expensive man all right take the handle and it sits this way Get our hole lined up on this. Whoops. Tell you what, man, these simple jobs are about 10 times harder when you try to do them through a video screen. There we go.
see inside of there everything's in okay our holes lined up there we go gotta put some pressure on that but we got it Maybe I don't got it. I do not. Golly. Got to compress that nice fresh spring in there. There she went. Oh, man. Now we put our clip on this side. Just didn't come with, so we'll reuse an old one. Popped it off with a screwdriver. We'll pop it back on with some needle news. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that master cylinder. That's great stuff. Cool. Now, go to our lid, peel this uh, high quality question mark gasket off of here holy cow I'm gonna need to go with this with a razor blade maybe So when you're doing this to any gasket surface, you know, you don't want to scratch or gouge the surface. It is still a mating surface. I'm just scraping along the edge nice and easy. Okay. Hit it with your wire brush. Residue gasket residue on this. Let's see. Okay, now, plastic side up, cardboard side down, because you have a little vent hole. This one's plugged. Oh. You get a little vent hole in the top, where you're supposed to. Golly, we'll stick with this one. Put your screws back in. This one's ready to go back on the bike. Um, you know, I know on cars, you do a master cylinder, you might bench bleed and all sorts of fun stuff. You don't really need to do 
that too much on these old shovel heads because it's just a real simple hydraulic system. There's no vacuum assist. There's nothing like that. Um, but I, I mean, I will fill this up, you know, on the bike and pump it until I get good liquid out of here. You know, I'll crack this fitting a whole lot. And, uh, yeah, we could do a whole thing over bleeding the brakes because I still got to run lines and such on the old shovel head. But here she is, rebuilt, ready to go. Appreciate it, guys. Enjoy it. Bye.